Well, hello everybody, welcome back to episode 134 of My Last Play Divinity! Okay, come back to get some stuff to sell. Because he, if the price of this, I'm going to lose money. So I want some cheaper things to sell to him. And I have a lot. Forget the shovel. Yeah, 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 I want the shovel. The broom, 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 I get the shovel. I have to we'll drop clear something. this up like we'll at the shovel. I'll have to drop something. Don't worry, we're going back. Don't worry. Be happy. As much as I hate leaving anything behind, I'm simply carrying too much already. I'm overloaded. I'll have to drop something. So I can carry, so. Oh, that's enough. Hello. Come on, go around, stop moving so I can get stuff in front of it. So I can click it, so you can go to it. Good boy. What the? Now I'm on the step. No, I don't want to touch you. I want to touch him. The other guy. I thought you from my mouse. So I've got to wait for you all the way to come around. Uh, this began. I want to touch this guy. I once used a dwarf and craft blade in battle. I have to say, it did not serve me well. Okay, I don't want to annoy him before I've done the trades. <laughs> He's probably getting very upset with that. Don't worry. Be happy. Come on. Do 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 Hopefully someone has enough to sell that belt to. Why am I not using that belt? That seems really, really good. What do I already have? So it was 11 durability versus 12, so that's better. I'm 160, 140, uh, that's why. Chances up in damage, 34 to magic. 5% uh, to damage. 5! A five, but that's the same. Frustration plus one, pickpocket plus one. I hit the magic thing. That's probably why I went with it. Okay, there's a player in the garden up a bit more. Thanks to these dwarfs. Let's buy everything we can. Well, sell everything we can. I'll have to drop something. Hey, Dan, you better put that thing up. <laughs> Hopefully, that's enough. If these are worth like 12 or 14, then it's not. If these are worth quite a bit each, and it is. Right, go back. Is that a broom? It's a manuscript. I thought it was a broom. I guess we'll see if that's enough. If not, there's more weapons over here. And now I've got to wait for his buddy to walk over to me. Can I serve you, please? It's like the most annoying person in the shop. Stay there! Can I serve you? Can I help you with anything? No, I want to talk to the manager. Are you sure it's not me? No, but you beat it. That's something I do find in America versus Britain. Okay, you follow me around. That, literally. In Britain, you go into a shop, someone might quickly ask you. They're either would completely annoy you, or they'll ask you, or can I help you? Especially if you go up to them. And, and the odd occasion, certain shops, you might have someone ask you, can I help you? In America, it's like all the time. I remember going to. Um, is it Game, GameStop or GameSpot? I always get the name mixed up in, in America. I was asked if I could, they could help me about three times in the space of 15 minutes. It's a small shop! I was like, no, no thank you, I'm just browsing. Five minutes later, no thank you, I'm just browsing. Five minutes later, no thank you, I'm just browsing. Just let me look at the stuff. <laughs> Obviously, first time you asked me. I'm browsing. I know you want to help, so if I then come, oh, you left. I have something I want to ask now. I'll go in and find you and ask you. Especially because there's no other customs that came in that time period too. It's, it's like, in America, they're always on you like, can I help you? Can I help you? Can I help you? No, thank you. 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 I want to look at my precious myself. I really mean. <laughs> you know. <laughs> but in Britain, it seems to be the opposite. You do have some shops that do it, but generally it's like, okay, I need someone to help. Um, help me. Okay, the till's absolutely full of people with that massive queue. Uh, anyone else on the shop floor? Nope. Anyone? Nope. No, I'm gonna be here before I get someone to help me. What's the big queue? <laughs> It's like the opposite. I want a nice middle. A nice middle. 
You have one or two who just stand around, maybe at a little small desk. Where, if you need help, come over to us. We're not for selling stuff or anything like our stocky shelves. We're just here specifically. If you need help, come over to our two small desks. And that way they don't ask you when you come in. But if you need them, you know where to go. And I'm just saying two for small places. Four or five for big supermarkets. Maybe they can even have a big flashing light above them. Come here if you need help. We'll direct you to stuff. We'll help you with your needs. But remember, we do not sell to you. That's the till, people. And my dog's looking at me like, what are you talking like that over there, you idiot? <laughs> okay, go back to sleep. She just woke up and you have not peed, have you? Or have you? I don't think she did. Or did you? No, that's something. Oh, that's the grass. Fake grass. Oh, yeah. Quick story about my dog. Very, very, very quickly. Uh, I was trying to potty train him. Got a pot, uh, got a, um, uh, puppy pads, right? Try to strip some part. Okay, can't do that. We then take her to the vet, find out she was ill when we got her, then she's another video. Didn't know she was ill when we bought her. So now she has medication, so she can't go outside properly. So we ordered oh, fake grass. For oh, we can get her to go in the fake grass, it feels like grass. Then, then when we get the potty training, gonna take her outside again. She's now outside, and she's, oh, this is just like indoors. It's the grass, this is where I got a toilet. That's the whole point. Got it today, put it down for her. She's ripping it apart, like, you gotta be good at me. And I mean, she wouldn't leave it alone, like, pick her up, put her away from it. Okay, leave it. Straight to it, like a magnet. <laughs> okay, pick her up, put her down. Straight to it again. And it's like, and then I phone my wife, okay, she's ripping it apart, what are we going to do? She goes, well, is she actually pulling it apart on, or I said, well, it looks like she's trying, okay, yeah, grass is coming off, she's pulling it apart. And you won't leave it alone. Okay, let me try, pick her up, put her down, Vroom! straight back to it. Okay, pick it up, we have to think something else. It's like, uh-huh. I know you look at me over there, I can see that look. Like, no, I didn't. Yes, you did. Anyway, I came to talk to you. Okay, and you're still behind me. Go away. I want the manager. <laughs> it's you. Do you have any special offers today? No, I want I want to trade. I come to trade with you because you have money. Your, your system does not. Because I took it all. Okay, how much do you even have left? 12. Okay, will it go up anymore? Is it 12 your max? Yes, you still have money. Oh. Okay, 26 is your max. Okay. We'll take something out. Uh, 15? No, we want the 15 back in. We want the 15 back in. Let's take a... 7. No. Let's take these. Yeah, so it does need to be that, doesn't it? Because it's 28. But if I take the smaller things out, I just want to... I don't want to lose too much money. Maybe 400. We'll do that. Mm, slapped. I once used a dwarven craft blade, blade in battle. I have. Okay, well, before I ask that, because I know it's going to annoy you. Uh, buddy, can you move so I can. No! I thought you could move so I could pick it up, not so I could teleport away and it's going to come over to me again. Okay, now we have to wait for the annoying sister to go over. Can I help you? Can I help you? Can I help you? And I can't. I have no mouse. So I have to let him walk over. Can I help you? Can I help you? <laughs> no. I just want to pick my item back up. Okay, that didn't work. Go over here. Fifth closer. Okay. Now let's save it. Then I'm going to ask him and say that's not going to worry. He's going to get oh snooty with me. I just want to see what this does. Let override. Let override. Override the stage tonight. Okay. Can I make sure I carry this? Or is it? Yeah. Do I find other pieces? Hello, you. I want you to go off craft a blade and battle. I have to say, it's not to serve me well. But you still live, do you not? If it were not the dwarven maid, you would surely be dead and cold. Just one way of putting it, I guess. Do you have any? What can you tell me? I'll do all the more. Yeah, I can't what that is, but let's find out about it. I would tell you to stay away from that accursed place. Many dwarves have disappeared there. Disappeared there was that Cal Bundle? It's the only one that returned. But he has never been the same since. Go and speak with him to see what I mean. Oh, that's about the um, ghosty things down in the mine, isn't it? Remember that weirdo? Your ghost, your ghoul, demon, whatever, be gone, and all this rubbish from earlier. I've already spoken to Cal Bundle. He is a strange one. 
Kaban must have seen something truly horrible in Dolan Para to turn his mind to mush like that. It is sad to see. He thinks everyone around him is a demon. Oh, ha, ha. Perhaps he saw a demon in Dalmara? I do not know what Kamada saw, but I do know there are no demons dwelling in Dalmara Prairie. I'm butchering that. I'm carrying on. Demonic emanations? Well, I don't know what is. Emanations? Are unmistakable to any dwarf. The scouting party would have come straight back if there were demons there. The place is cursed though, and I hope the king will see the ceiling, the entrance to this, the fire pit forever. Okay, um, quick thing. The scout will come straight back, but you just said there's a lot of people gone down there looking to return but him. So how the scout party returning back if they're not if they're disappearing? That make no sense. Okay. I need to follow me. Okay. No, I do not need help. Go away. Please let me be. I do not need help. Go away, go away, go away. Okay, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Okay, we have left the door a bit, don't we? I can remember. Hopefully I come across somebody else. Or would have to have stuff to sell. Let's have my need to sell the stuff I got. I am finally getting the stuff down a bit, was nice. Let's have my money. Hello? Who's over here, anybody? If, if this is not it, then I want to look for the king. There's a word and dar. There's more. Oh, no, I thought you were going to stop me. What? Hail, hey, human, mysterious, mysterious, mysterious. Things are afoot in these caves lately. Oh, that's the place. What do you mean? Many, many bodies have disappeared lately. We first four cave ins claim them, but there are too many, and there hasn't been much. Tetonic. Te Tectonic activity, basically the shifting of the plates. Activity of late, and now the search parties are disappearing. Well, he said they'll come straight back. And that's what I said. They're disappearing. How are they going to come straight back? Uh, only poor Kamal has returned, but his mind is gone and he speaks nonsense. Do you have any money? No. Okay, be gone, be gone. I already know this stuff. So that's where the cave is. Okay. So we'll look around here. Go in there, and then we'll head in there. Probably next episode, because we've only got a few minutes left. Anything else? And then we'll come out and look for the king, and, and then the king will be, We need you to go in the cave to prove your worth! I'm like, I've done it. You what? This guy's amazing! You have your army? <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> Ooh, that looks like that's something interesting. Okay, do we have a little piece here so I can teleport? The oh, we have a piece here. What could be to that? A lot to that. Or is that just a forge? That's a forge, isn't it? Eh. Come on, keep moving. Always moving. Keep on moving. Okay, maybe I shouldn't be going up here. I don't want to get too much to explore. What's this run down up here? I guess better get it end here, good. Okay, I think it's okay. I didn't want it too far up here and have more to explore. Oh, fudge. As I said, this opens up. Okay. Okay, yeah, I need to go back. I'm getting too deep here, aren't we? That is a rock. Build. Okay, we'll come back to that stuff in a bit then. Should probably check the cave out first. I need the place too. Might be more stuff to sell. So I don't really want to go in there carrying my stuff so I can sell it before I gear, it'd be better. So I'll quickly just use the teleportation here just to make sure it takes me. Is it up here? Huh. Okay, this looks like a good place to come back. Okay, we'll be back in a bit. So we've got a few more places to check out, it seems. Hopefully the cave's not too big. I'm going to go in in a minute. Hello, anyone home? 
Apparently the guy just passed. Greetings, human. Have you yet visited the river of the gold? Isn't it every all around us? It is a place dedicated to our god. Duna. I was going to say gold, then I had to curse something. I was like, god. <laughs> it's really going to get gold. Who grants us a life of prosperity? Can you tell me more about the god of Duna? Once Duna wore the hallowed halls of Karamrix, living among us and ruling over all. Then one day, all the gods had to return to their own plains. Duna wept openly, for he was saddened to leave his children behind. Then what happened? Duna wept for one day and one night, and as his tears struck the stone floor, the mighty river of God was born! <laughs> that was supposed to be like extra effects there to make it more dramatized. Anyway, moving on. Uh, the river of God was born and, was flown, uh, and has flown ever since. What is so special about the river of God? The fact this made of gold? What well, other rivers are made of gold? I can't remember, I don't believe that's a stupid question. <laughs> okay, let's do it. What is so special about the river of gold? The river of gold is one of the greatest wonders in the royal Riverdale. Deep beneath its surface is precious gems and much gold. Well, I assume next is in the name. And it is said that if you stare long enough into the waters, you shall see the future. Do you have any money? Ooh, not much. I don't have enough to sell for that, do I? I do it at 400. Oh, I get, oh, actually, actually, I'll try to buy them for more than a dollar. And we'll sell this and this. Yeah. I'm giving you money. <laughs> That's too much. I would, I'm, I'm, I would make, lose a lot. I don't want to lose on that. Okay. Do I have to give you money? <gasps> yes, I do. You stay there. We are going to go back. And we're back in a minute. Actually, we'll be back next episode. So please like, subscribe, please tune in next time. Here in my house. Once again. I've been Abitobi. Have a great one for the day. See you next week. Bye, everyone.